This is the day that everybody expects you to forget everything, so <laughs> make some good ones. That you <laughs> get them out of the way. <laughs> right.
Thank you. You may be seated. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Happy and holy is the sacred hour when two devoted hearts are bound together for eternity. It was in the beauty of such a covenant that one said, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for the ends of being an ideal grace, I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall love thee even better after death. Who gives this woman in marriage? Lynette and I do. Thank you, sir. The union of husband and wife and heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Kristen and Kirk's mothers will light a candle symbolizing the direct creation of Kristen and Kirk. Ms. Wild and Ms. Meckham, will you please come forward and light the candles? of verses that Kristen and Kirk have chosen for their wedding. You are God's chosen race, his saints. He loves you, and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness, in humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive each other as soon as a quarrel begins. The Lord has forgiven you, now you must do the same. 
Over all these clothes, to keep them together and complete them, put on love. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this that you are called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. Let the message of Christ and all its richness find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your heart, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God. And never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through His name. Kirk and Kristen, you have chosen to declare to the world that you seek to establish a Christian home. These words will be very helpful to you as you do that. Bless those who persecute you. Never curse them. Bless them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and be sad with those in sorrow. Treat everyone with equal kindness. Never be condescending, but make real friends with the poor. Do not allow yourself to become self-satisfied. Never repay evil with evil, but let everyone see that you're interested only in the highest ideals. Do all you can to live at peace with everyone. You, Kristen and Kirk, have freely chosen each other as partners in this wonderful and holy state. You know of no just cause why you should not be thus united. So will you please join your right hands? Kirk, will you have this woman whom you hold by the hand to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health so long as you both shall live? I will. Kristen, will you have this man whom you hold by the hand to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? Amen. Please repeat after me. I, Kirk, take you, Kristen. I, Kirk, take you, Kristen. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love, honor, and share with you. I promise to love, honor, and share with you. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I, Kristen, take you, Kurt. I, Kristen, take you, Kurt. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love, honor, and share with you. I promise to love, honor, and share with you. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Then you're each given to the other for richer, for poorer. Better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Till death shall part you. The rings are a symbol of the vows you've taken. Circles of wholeness, perfect in form. These rings mark the beginning of a long journey together filled with wonder, surprises, laughter, tears, celebration, grief, and joy. May these rings glow in reflection of the warmth 
and the lies which flow through the wares today. May we have the rings, please. Kurt, please repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. As a symbol of my unending love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and unending devotion. May its presence on your hand remind you of my love. May its presence on your hand remind you of my love. Kristen, if you would do the same. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. A symbol of my unending love and devotion. A symbol of my unending love and devotion. May its presence on your hand remind you of my love. I'm going to ask that you please take a few moments as an opportunity, as a blessing, that you may, in, in prayer and thought, lift this couple up to the high ideals that they have stated for us today. May we pray together. As you continue to pray, I'd like for Kirk and Kristen to light the unity candle, please. This day is almost done. When the night and the morning meet, it will be only an unalterable memory. So let no unkind word, no careless doubting thought, no guilty secret, no neglected duty, no wisp of jealous fog becloud its passing. Now in token of our deep and abiding love, we will lay aside all disturbing thoughts, all misunderstandings, all unworthiness, if things have gone awry, 
let neither of us lift an accusing finger. Who is to blame is not important. Only how shall we set the situation right? And so serving and being served, loving and being loved, we shall make a peaceful home where we and our children shall learn to face life joyfully, triumphantly, so near as God shall give us grace. May I have your hands, please? It is my privilege to pronounce you to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, what he joins together, let no one lay aside. You may kiss your brain. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Kurt Mickham.